thank you for choosing AIBMS AuthiPay as your payment provider. In this video, we'll look at Installing the P12 certificate on Chrome. Open the email received from the AuthiPay team. The email, the first of two with the subject line Welcome to AuthiPay, should contain a link to the virtual terminal, store ID and user ID. In the attachment of the email, subject Welcome to AuthiPay, you will find a P12 certificate that you will need to install on your web browser in order for the product to work. Save the attachment. You may like to move the file from the download folder to the desktop to make it easier later. The second email with the subject line AuthiPay Access contains the password you will use every day and the password you will use to install the certificate. Before we move ahead, copy the second password, certificate password, so that you can paste it in later. Now we move back to the desktop where we left the P12 certificate file. We unzip the file on the desktop so as to extract the P12 certificate. Once extracted, we can click on the file in order to add it to the keychain. The keychain certificate add wizard opens up and you are given the option to add the certificate you have clicked on to this user's keychain. Once you click the button marked add, you are prompted to enter the certificate password. This is the password we copied earlier, so we can paste it directly into the text field marked password. Now we have entered the password, we can click OK to move to the next step. Congratulations, your certificate is now in your keychain. This means you can access AuthiPay from Safari or Chrome on your Mac. Now to log in for the first time, please open the email with the subject line Welcome to AuthiPay and you will find the link to the virtual terminal highlighted here. Click on this link to go to the virtual terminal page. Before the page opens, your browser will ask you to confirm which certificate you want to use. In this demonstration, we have only one installed, and so we can select this. However, if you had more than one installed for other accounts or products, you would see the list of all associated certificates. Please ensure you select the correct certificate for the account you wish to access, as you will not be able to enter without selecting the correct one. Finally, you need to allow Chrome or any other browser you use the right to access the certificate stored in your keychain. You can do this for one time and click Allow, or if you want Chrome to select this automatically every time, you can choose Always Allow, and it will remember this choice every time you log on. This time we have chosen Always Allow. You will now be brought to the Merchant Login page. Please return to the email with the subject line Welcome to AuthiPay in order to get the login details required. Copy the store number from the email and open the Merchant Login page and paste it into the field marked Store Number. Return to the email with the subject line Welcome to AuthiPay. Copy the user ID from the email. Open the Merchant Login page and paste it into the text field marked User ID. Next, go to the email with the subject line AuthiPay Access and copy the password from the email as shown here. Again, open the Merchant Login page and paste the password into the field marked Password. You have now entered all the details required and you can proceed to press the button marked Submit to log in for the first time. As it is your first time logging in, there is a security measure that requires you to 1. Enter your old password, which you can paste in again. 2. Enter a new password of your choosing that complies with the password rules. Passwords must contain at least one alphabetic letter, have one digit, 0 to 9, have one special character, for example, at, hashtag, percentage or question mark, have a maximum of two repeating characters and consist of at least eight characters and no more than 32 characters. Three, re-enter that new password just to check there was no typing errors. And four, click the button marked 
Submit. Congratulations, you have now logged in successfully for the first time and changed your password to one known only by yourself. You can now move on to using your virtual terminal and processing your first transaction.